what tool do you use now? How do you, what's your curiosity management system look like? So I use what I call a crumb time list. This is another concept that I've been thinking about a lot is crumb time is these little pockets of time of sort of un- indefinite size and shape that sort of break off and fall on the floor throughout our day. We like go to the dentist, we're sitting in the dentist's uh, waiting room and we only have a couple minutes. So naturally what we do is we just give away that time. Mm-hmm. And as part of why I like the idea of it, calling it crumb time is that we think of crumbs as insignificant. It sounds like an insignificant thing. But when you put crumbs together, uh, they're actually part of a very significant thing. One of the things I'm doing with my crumb time is I have my crumb time list, which is just a list of different things that I thought for a moment, oh, I'm curious about this. And instead of going directly to uh, read about that thing, I just put it on the list. And that is something that if I'm at a restaurant waiting for a friend to show up, oh, I'll just quickly open up uh, my crumb time list and see, oh, what, what looks interesting here? And go mm-hmm. search for that thing. And I'll do a little bit of reading about it. And if I'm just like, if I can feel myself getting really interested in it, I'm, you know, then I'll go uh, download the Kindle sample or buy the book. And then I'll probably, but I'll probably ask myself, how much more interested in, the, in this am, am I? And, and think, well, not a whole lot. And so, and then I'll put it on like a, I've already read this list. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, then, and then oftentimes it leads to other things that I'm curious about, certain footnotes and, and things like that. So that's the way my system looks right now. I hope you enjoy this conversation with my new friend, David Cadaby.